And now we turn to the devastating death of this four year old boy in South Charlotte. This is Demario Warren. Police say he was shot and killed at an apartment off of Monroe Road. Now we first brought you this tragic story as breaking news last night at 10. Since then, we spoke to the little boy's mother, of course, just torn up with grief. Our veteran crime reporter Glenn Counts is live tonight, and Glenn, the DeMario's father, faces charges for what happened to this child. Well, Scott, uh, DeMario's father is uh, still here in the uh, Mecklenburg County Jail. Uh, police believe that uh, were it not for his carelessness, none of this would have happened. I love them. I wanted to be the best mother to them. And, I, and I'm just, I felt them. That's just how I feel. Brandy Parham has had a tough life, and then yesterday evening, the unimaginable happened. Her four-year-old son, Demario, was killed as a result of a gun that was not stored properly. Loving, caring, joyful, happy lost his life due to gun violence. DeMario's father, Deshaun Warren, was arrested for involuntary manslaughter and improper storage of a firearm. The incident occurred at his apartment. I just wish they were more observant of the kids and watching them like they should have been. If people have guns, just put them up. Parham is not sure how she is going to explain to DeMario's brother that he is gone and that he will never get to play with him again. I just hope everyone out there, you know, put your guns up. If you love people and you care for them, put them up. Parham went to visit her kids yesterday and left them in their father's care around 6 in the evening. The incident occurred 90 minutes later. And even though she wasn't there, she is battling guilt and doubt and doesn't want any parent to share her pain. She is begging everyone to make sure that they secure their firearms. You know, I would have to bury and watch him lay down in the casket. That hurts. It really do. And I'm just lost, broke. Now, we did check into Warren's background, and we can tell you that he has been arrested numerous times for domestic violence and also for assault. Reporting live with, from Uptown, Glenn Couch, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Glenn, thank you for that.